let's have a little look around. Some Austrian architecture over there. Are we in Austria, folks? That's the question. Located in the Pasco region of Peru, there is a unique colonial sediment set deep in the countryside. The Austro-German colonial heritage of the area dates back to the 19th century when a group of Austrian and German settlers known as the Oxipampa colonists arrived in the area. They were helped and encouraged by the Peruvian government to do so and with them they brought their farming methods as well as some of their cultural traditions such as music and dance and of course the German language. Even the architecture of the area has a distinctive Austrian look to it with the pitched roofs to be found in most buildings. So sit back, relax and tuck into your strudel as we check out this piece of interesting colonial heritage right in the middle of the Peruvian jungle. Vamos! This here is traditional breakfast of chorizos, um, huevos revueltos, um, revueltos uh, scrambled eggs, bananas, and yuca. And you get a free coffee as well. Coffee comes in a little jug like this, and then you have to add the hot water. So it's a bit different to the coffee we normally get. Right in the middle of the jungle, we're 11 hours from the sea, but there's a big boat right here with what appears to be the Austrian, Austrian flags. I'm just here in Pazuso, which is a colony of Austro-Alemanis, Austro, um, Austro-German um, colonists. And I'm going to pass you over to Fernanda, who's going to tell you all about it. Fernanda, over to you. Well, Pazuso was colonized by colonists of Austro-Alemanis. Well, they came from Austria and Germany in a boat of vapor, the one we have in the replica in the park. Eh, que fue, era el Norton, era un barco guanero, eh, se embarcaron en Amberes en 1857 y llegaron a Pozuzo después de toda la travesía, después de dos años, en 1859. Eh, acá en el parque tenemos tres estatuas de una persona de la selva, una persona de la sierra de Perú y una estatua que representa a los europeos que llegaron acá. Las personas um, aquí hablan... Um, solo español o eh, alemán? Bueno, en realidad en el colegio nos enseñan alemán Ajá. desde jardín hasta secundaria, hasta el quinto año de secundaria pero eh, bueno, en mi caso ya me olvidé bastante pero eh, nuestros abuelos son los que aún tienen el dialecto tirolés no es un alemán, es el dialecto tirolés que, que lo hablan acá ¿no? y bueno Eh, antes de pandemia, ustedes salían a la calle y los domingos estaban las, las abuelas, se conversaban en, en su dialecto. ¿En su dialecto? ¿En los domingos? Sí, los, sí, los domingos, o sea, los descendientes, Ajá. Las, las personas descendientes uh -huh. eh, todavía tienen el, el idioma, ¿no? Por ejemplo, mi abuela. Mi abuela, su idioma materno eh, es el dialecto tirolés y con el paso de los años, siendo al colegio, aprendió el español. Sus papás no sabían casi nada de español, por ejemplo. So, it's now coming up to beer o'clock, so I'm going to go and meet myself down to the service area. <laughs> folks, what time is it? What time is it? It's beer o'clock, that's right, folks. And I'm here at the door to beer brewery. Let's have a look around, folks. Mm. First beer of the day is always the best. So, folks, this is my new job. I've got a job as an artisan beer factory. Since this video is done, I'm going to the bar to get some beer. It's beer clock, but the beer hasn't arrived yet. As you can see, I'm having an absolutely gorgeous steak. It's ready for me to get the tour into, right? So I'm down at the Bartol Beer service area, um, where they make all different types of beer. You know I love my craft beers. I'm proving you buy a cock and a fanny in the same shop. In the early 1850s, the Baron Damien Fryer von Schuushausen signed an agreement with the Peruvian government allowing 10,000 German settlers from Tyrol 
and pressure to relocate to the Alto Holaga area of Peru. Colonists took a four-month journey from Germany to Lima, where their plans were derailed by the emerging civil war and the realization that the road to their new settlement hadn't yet been built, despite assurances to the contrary from the Peruvian government. Most colonists stayed in Lima, but around 300 plucky ones left for the port of Huacho, some 150 kilometers north, where they were put into quarantine. From here, they crossed the coast, the Andes, then traversed the dense jungle, building the path themselves on what turned into a two-year journey. Only 170 of the colonists managed to reach the town of Pazuzo. In 1891, a few of the colonists left Pazuzo and founded nearby Oxapampa. Access to the town used to be difficult until a highway facilitated tourism in the 1980s. Now Oxapampa is a popular tourist destination with plenty of activities and exciting traditions. We're going to the National Park, but because of COVID, it's closed on a Saturday. Because we're daring and bold adventurous people, we're gonna go and see if we can get in without paying. We're just breaking into the farmer's field here. Look at this. So what else would you be doing on a Saturday afternoon? Oh, whoa, oh, shit. Look at this, folks. And all we've got on is our normal clothes. I'm wearing my shoes. Oh shit. But we're not far from the city, I don't think. More swamp over here. Ugh. Way! Yeah! Shit! Yeah, you can't see it Wow, peach. Second feet. So we're just down at the traditional market in Oxapampa here. Fruits and vegetables over here with clothes. Lots of. Hello, hola. Si. Como estas? Si, que tal bien? Muchas underwear, ropa de and the interior. Si. Pasta de cacao. Wow. Acá está la pasta de cacao para chocolate con leche. A tres por diez acá está la cáscara. Tiene bastante calorías para té, para su boca. Mmm. Mmm. Muy rico. Wow. Para Muchísimas gracias. Está hecho miel de cacao, miel de caña, miel de abeja y aguardiente. Esta es la cáscara del cacao. Y las otras, esta es la hoja de achote, esta es la hoja de la guanábana. Bueno, estamos explorando countryside of Oxapampa here. Just going for a little cycle on a Sunday. Everything happened by chance today. We left the hotel not knowing if anything would be open. And to our luck we found a burger shop and in turn we found someone who was renting bicycles. And we're off in search of a native Sediment of native people. Buenos dias, como esta? Well, met some of the Yamasha people here. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Uh, ¿Cómo te llamas? Sebastián. Sebastián, mm -hmm. mucho gusto. Uh, me llamo Mark. Um, Mark. Soy de Irlanda del Norte. Ah, yeah. ¿De, ¿De dónde eres? Eh, sí. De Sachapen, de la comunidad nativa de Sachapen. ¿Cuántos idiomas hablas? ¿Español y...? Eh, español y, bueno, estoy aprendiendo alemán e inglés. Oh, mucho gusto, oh, mucho gusto. ¿Qué, qué es? Masato. Masato, ok. Con es... Eso es el... Cerveza yuca, Yanisha. Yuca, este... A la yuca se le zancocha mm -hmm. con camote, se le chanca, 
y se le deja tres, cuatro días fermentarse. Wow, yes. Es un licor ya hecho de aquí licor. de la comunidad. Oh, ah, licor. Es, sí, es un licor. ¿Tiene alcohol? Ah, no, o sea, no. tiene su mismo alcohol, o sea, mm. como es un, un macerado. Mm, sí. sí. Mm. Es rico. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo soy Elsie Elvira Ortiz Frey. Ah, mucho gusto. Sí. Ah, sí. Sí. Um, aquí vivimos aquí en la comunidad. Mi mamá es de aquí de la comunidad. Um, mi, mi abuelo de mí es este era este Augusto Frey. Él tiene descendencia alemana. Salud. 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 Masato. Masato. Masato es the, the, the typical drink of this community. Sí. Peor uh, con es. Estoy diciendo. Salud con el Salud. Masato. Con el pasado, en el idioma, en So we've managed to find the only restaurant in town. Well, folks, what time is it? That's right. You know what time it is. It's beer club. I'm just on this, the chancho al cilindro, which is pig on a spit roast. I've got some potatoes here. And I've got some um, salad and camote, camote. Traditional Peruvian cuisine. You gotta wash it down with something, folks. Might as well be beer. Hola. Hola. Welcome to Edgar's restaurant. Oh shit. Look at that. The first hurdle that was the blockage in the road. So now we're on our mission to find a taxi driver that will take us to the Laguna. Okay. Hola. Hola. Oh. Hola. We asked the bus station, could we get a taxi to the Laguna uh, Laguna Aguizal? Said no, the road's closed. But we just walked past the roadworks and asked the local guy, local mechanic, um, did, did he know anyone that would have a taxi? And it turns out that he is also a taxi driver. Yes, folks. When you travel like this. It's much better than using tours. So when you use tours, you're shoveled around like sheep, a cattle, brought to one, you know, it's usually a shop. It's a tourist trap. My style of traveling is do your own thing. It's cheaper and it's often more fun. It, well, it's always, in fact, it's always more fun because you don't know what you're gonna get. We didn't know what we're gonna get today. A local guy just brought us on his motorbike. Nada is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Come on in, folks, the water's lovely. 